Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating the capabilities of Virtual Desktop, an application developed for the Oculus Rift which allows you to see and interact with your computer on a giant virtual screen. You can download it from vrdesktop.net. The application is compatible with Windows 7 and Windows 8, but you'll get much better performance on Windows 8, so I highly recommend it. Once installed, you can launch it, and an icon will appear in your system tray. You can double-click it to bring up the settings window, which we'll go over in just a second. Now, if we switch over to the Rift, we can see that our monitor is replicated in real-time at a full 75 frames per second. If you have the development kit too, you can lean in and look around thanks to the positional tracking. The screen size can be configured. This is useful if you want to watch a movie, for example. You can also have it wrap completely around you. F2 and F3 are hotkeys that you can use to change the size of the screen. The curved option allows you to toggle whether the screen is flat or curved. The floating option allows you to position the screen above you. For example, if you want to watch a movie in bed, just look up, press F4, and now the screen is anchored above your head. The distant option places the screen further away from you so that the effects of positional tracking are lessened. The background option lets you select what appears behind the screen and around you. Let's choose Dark Nebula. So what can you do with a giant screen in virtual space? Well, you can do anything. Browse the web, play games, watch movies. You can also watch your favorite drama on Netflix. They've done us a great favor, Doug. We are no longer bound by allegiances. We serve no one. So I've mentioned conventional games before. Here I'm launching Hearthstone, the same way I would normally do it. And it just works. The games you can play need to be set up in windowed mode. Busy night, but there's always room for another. Most games today support a windowed full screen mode. That's how Hearthstone works out of the box. You can also play Diablo 3, which supports a windowed full screen mode. Another example is Watch Dogs. Whatever game he's playing, this default, he's putting Nikki's life at risk. You picked the wrong time to piss me off. Right now, I had to stall Damien. The purpose of Virtual Desktop, though, is to improve your VR experience with real VR content. When you launch a VR game, like Tuscany Demo, you don't have to take your headset off. Just launch the game, and you'll jump directly in it. If I hit Escape, I'm back on the desktop. I can do the same with the Gottlieb Demo. You don't have to launch the games from Virtual Desktop. You can launch your games from anywhere, and it just works. Hit Escape. And I'm back. That completes the demo for Virtual Desktop, downloaded at vrdesktop.net. Thanks for watching.